I constantly hear that all new smartphones look similar to each other, and I cannot disagree, cause when some big company once in a year releases something extraordinary, then guys like Xiaomi are trying to make a budget version of the same stuff. Then big companies scratch their heads and also jump into the middle budget segment, and the war of the clones begins. On the other side of the bill, the customer has to mind with only a few prominent, but the hell of expensive products and a whole bunch of less budget but tasteless black and white copies with main differences between each other in a company's logo, thickness of bezels and only sometimes in a processor. Wondering about 48 megapixel camera? It is now everywhere I look. Get ready for 108 megapixel camera phone's eruption. Our team thinks that nowadays market needs not expensive, even less powerful smartphones but at least with something new or different from iPhone, Pixel or Galaxy smartphones. What to do if we want to forget about glass bodies for a little while, see headphone jacks in pair with flagship hardware and notchless screens. Technically, some important aspects of our today's smartphone are now clear, but ZTE Nubia Red Magic 3S is also a gaming device, so let's take a rest from camera phones, foldables or Xiaomi and tech into it. By the way, mine is Bogdan. Welcome to Techfellas. The outer look certainly deserves an attention. The first thing is the full metal body that creates pleasant hand feelings and has a lot of geometry in it. You will find beveling on buttons, beautifully set openings of cooling system, as well as a game mode slider in a bright red color with knurling. That looks sexy. Christmas mood is also included in LEDs on the back. It can light with different colors and shimmer that you can switch in settings. Company's logo also shines and if you wish, you can just turn the lights off. Cool body features don't stop on that, I'll continue with so-called triggers, touch-sensitive zones that live on one of its edges. You can set on them virtual buttons from any game, for example field glass and the shooting key in World of Tanks Blitz. If you ever wanted to add some weird but helpful stuff to the touch interface of your favorite game, it seems now you have the chance without any gamepad triggers from AliExpress. What else? A cool FN. Yes guys, it is here and lives inside the body, behind the same openings I told you before, they are here not just as design elements. Why would you ever need a cooler? Is clear, I suppose. If not, listen closely. The local hardware is very efficient and you as potential gamer will rely on it for a long time and quite often. Exactly to avoid any slowdowns, FPS drops and so on, the fan was stuffed in here. How noisy is this helicopter? Quite a loud one, you slowly begin to hear it after about 10 minutes of intense gameplay in total silence. On the other hand, who is gaming with turned off sound or without headphones? Only a few people I think, at least when you really don't have to be quiet. Nevertheless, just in case, you can disable the cooler simply by clicking the button in the game mode manager. Let's move on. Fingerprint reader and face recognition. Both of them are in the device. The reader takes place on the back of the phone, which will surely upset fans of the latest technologies, but it will definitely please the one who values speed and stability. Face recognition works by means of the front camera. It is also well made and quick. In the dark, phone successfully helps itself with extremely high screen backlight. You may wonder how safely it all works. The phone cannot be deceived with the photo and won't allow to enter the system with closed eyes. The good news also swings around the mini jack and multimedia speakers that live right on the front panel of the smartphone and are aimed at the user. Checking first the sound in headphones. I'm certainly happy about the maximum volume. With the right earbuds, the smartphone can easily beat a noisy subway, any public transport conversations and even your grandfather snoring from the next room. In melody, the bass is overkilling, everything else is somehow clamped, frankly equalizer can fix this easily, something outstanding we couldn't find in the sound of this device. Actually no wonder, because there is no dedicated hi-fi audio chip in here. The sound through speakers comes out loud and relatively sharp, but I cannot call it an alternative to a portable speaker, also it's unlikely to please the music enthusiasts. However, are definitely suitable for watching a movie without headphones as well as for immersing into the sounds of your favorite game. 
This is exactly why they were installed in Red Magic 3S, so thumbs up. One more close to music thing, when you play tracks, LED strip on the back is trying to shimmer in time with the music. It looks neat, I like it. Now when you thought that this body has everything you've ever dreamed, forgive me and let me break your heart. The storage here cannot be expanded, the card drawer loves to plug two SIM cards, but nothing for additional memory. What is obvious, there is no wireless charging, as well as certified liquid protection. Besides, the manufacturer somehow didn't become generous with NFC either. I think you know already, is it crucial for you in real life or not? I personally understand that all these cutbacks are made to lower the cost of the phone. Finally, we came to the screen. It's big in here, 6.5 inches AMOLED with Full HD Plus resolution. The main feature of the display is the refresh rate of 90Hz. The picture itself is smooth and dynamic. My eyes were looking at it with pleasure. There is a color corrector. You can set the colors a bit oversaturated or just calm them down. The question which is clearly on top of everybody's head is PWM. Well, it is surely here, but not a aggressive at all. My eyes again, which is sensitive in this regard, thinks that PWM is adequate. After long gaming nights I could go to sleep with a burning brain, but definitely not with falling out eyes. Unfortunately, this time without a DC demon. Who knows, will this be fixed later or not? At least the updates come quite often. Another disappointment about the screen is the lack of always on display, and there can be no excuses, I think. Nowadays almost every smartphone with AMOLED has this feature. In general, the guys from ZTE have something to work on. Let me show you some camera capabilities. Like in all smartphones for gamers, photos are good enough just to cover the needs of most users. With the main camera and the front one, the phone shoots just nice images, but without cosmic quality, wow effects and all that stuff. In general, the camera set is not for the photo maniac, but it is not a sin to place its photo in Instagram, for instance. The video sample that you see now comes in 4K, as for the quality in this resolution, it is more than adequate, however the same two eyeballs are just screaming to see at least some stabilization here. Here comes the white line. As you probably know, the maximum video resolution in this smartphone can be 8K. Too bad that it's just 15 frames per second, but the manufacturer didn't say crap, it's true 8K, in sharpness the picture is rocking high. You may oppose saying that taking photos and videos look not that good as I want you to believe. First of all, the shooting was made in a cloudy weather. Secondly, this is not a camera phone for 1200 bucks, but a device for gamers with only one main camera. Not that kind of job, I'd say. My statement is that for the gaming piece of tech, this guy shoots well enough. Here comes the hardware. The heart of the device is a Qualcomm chip called Snapdragon 855 Plus. Graphics is a Adreno 640. They can be either 8 or 12 gigs of LPDDR4X RAM. The built-in memory of UFS 3.0 can be 128 or 256 gigs. Our testing version is the weakest, 8 for RAM and 128 for storage. Does this stuff work fast? Of course, yes. Absolutely any game runs perfectly on the maximum graphic settings without lag. By the moment, Red Magic 3S is the super gaming device. I'll tell you even more, because of the cooling system that supports the hardware and keeps the decent level of performance will surely last for more than one year. So if you're looking for a gaming smartphone that you won't have to change soon, now you know what you need. What benchmark test think about this phone you may now see on the screen. And what you should be interested about is the effectiveness of speed boost and cooling system. Both of them could be turned on in gaming mode, enter to screenshots show all the increase in performance, so if you want to dig deeper, please set the video on pause, but don't forget to resume it. What awaits you in games? In some software, for example in PUBG, the smartphone can pleasantly vibrate together with gaming actions. For someone it will become a nice bonus to 19Hz screen, triggers and awesome hardware. As for the gameplay, it is well thought out here. It's time to talk about the battery. Situation is quite nice, there are 5000 mAh capacity, it gives smartphone for about 2 days of battery life if you do not play games. Although that would be quite strange, and why the heck would you wanna buy a gaming smartphone? 
apart from them. If we talk about action, that is playing games quite a lot, using camera and 4G internet, then the battery life for more than one day is unlikely to happen. For one hour, from the power adapter out of box, device is charging up to 70%. A full charge takes one hour and 40 minutes. There is more or less normal as for such battery. Now a couple of comments about software. Let me dispel all fears. Google services are pre-installed and are completely adequate. Absolutely any software from Google Play jump into the phone and work stable. Next, let me remind you once again about gaming mode that is filled with many useful things like temperature monitoring, screen brightness adjustment, option to disable incoming calls, screencast gameplay, configure triggers, accelerate hardware, and so on and so forth. Summarizing the stuff, this Nubia certainly falls behind with camera specs. Or somebody may say that 90Hz is already a piece of crap, like owners of ROG Phone 2. But in total, device turned out to be well set. It is perfectly made, brings nice tactile feelings and excellent heat dissipating body with unique cooling system. It is equipped with speakers that are directed at the owner, trigger zones that understand tapping, plus a shining strip on the back. Company decided to keep mini jack and sell you a couple of branded accessories that you can buy separately on their or any other website. But most importantly, the phone has got a top and hardware that makes it a worthy competitor on gaming market and gives a maximum comfort and a deep dive into the world of mobile games. If you understand the weak spots of this phone and can live with them, I can safely recommend ZTE Nubia Red Magic 3S for buying. And if you want to wear, I will leave a link in the description box below. And if you like this video, then why not to support our channel by subscribing to it, hitting the like button and ringing the bell to stay tuned for more cool content. My thanks for watching and cheers!